Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Papa Goose. Papa Goose here. Not a walk and talk kind of video. Well, more like sitting down and talk right now. Uh, it's kind of windy. <laughs> I tried recording earlier. Uh, it was just too windy, and this location is fairly good. You, you might hear some wind, a little bit of wind here, but it's fairly good in terms of protection from the wind itself. Uh, and it's cozy. I like it. Thinking back to last time, so to say, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, merch that I'm uh, trying to do. Uh, I'm trying to get, get up, you know, uh, get up some, some, some merch for y'all. And, uh, uh, well, be. <laughs> uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh, yeah, merch. Uh, so I've set up most things for merch itself, uh, items, t-shirt, whatever. Uh, it's not online yet because I'm, because I've I've ordered most of the things and I'm waiting to kind of get them so I can personally review them and see exactly how they are in terms of quality, uh, size, and everything. Because uh, I don't want like last time I had merch, the t-shirts were like fucking garbage. Size-wise, it did not fucking fit. And uh, also, just, uh, uh, just the, the printer was garbage. Like it was just stick together and just, like just not aligned. Uh, things like that. <laughs> but uh, so I'm waiting on that. Uh, not sure when they will arrive. Hopefully soon. Once that is done, I feel comfortable. Then we will you know, have it online. I will do a little bit of showcase. During this time here or right now i don't know uh, have you guys see what you can potentially can get stuff like that uh, now i shows stream elements and the reason being uh, that i quite uh, that i quite liked was that because it has an integration with twitch itself um, you can also integrate it with terms of the subscription so if you are a tier one subscriber and you are you know looking for to, to buy a t-shirt for example uh, if you are a tier one subscriber on my channel then you get 15 yes 15 percent off as discount uh, and it goes through anything uh, from what I understand just as long as you're subscribed you know then you get discounts and the higher of a tier uh, I think you know yeah I think it I had Tier 2 was 35% off, and Tier 3 is like half off, shit like that. Uh, but regardless of the say, I think the most awesome thing was just that you as, you know, viewer, uh, and if you are subscribed uh, on my Twitch channel, then you do get benefits from it. So I think that's very, very awesome in general. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we'll see when when we'll get get up. Uh, I look forward to it. Uh, also, to also try them out as well personally. So stay tuned for that for more information about uh, more information about that. Yes. So what else really to talk about? Uh, well, uh, uh, I recently, um, a month back or so, uh, commissioned uh, someone to do some uh, overlays for me. Because I've been meaning to update more relays uh, for my stream for a long time, many years. Still using like I think Nerd or Die, I think they're called I use, like their assets and stuff like that, and other just fucking free assets, whatever. For many years, uh, there are some good assets for free out there for sure, for sure. But I want something more uh, that's just personal to me, that reflects the the brand and who I am, things like that. And I finally got a little bit of an update. Uh, it's not it's not done yet, but I got an update on how it will how it would look like. And uh, I'm very very excited. Uh, I hope that you guys will like it as well. Uh, I said it's not done, so I can't really show much anything right now. But it's quite awesome. Uh, all they need to do left is like do some animations uh, for the overlays and stuff, and then it's done. And then you will see a, a very fresh look on the Twitch channel. Yes, so I, I'm very stoked, very excited that this guy's I can't fucking talk. <laughs> I'm stoked. I'm. 
<laughs> I'm stoked and excited for it. Yes. So, ah. besides that, uh, I was thinking back to the last time, like the last walk and talk video we did, and uh, I, I didn't, I didn't really talk about. <laughs> I kind of wanted to, but I didn't, I didn't. For whatever reason, I didn't do it. Talk about my life as a cook uh, and or chef. There was a small period I was a, was a chef as well. Uh, on that restaurant that I that we you know kind of walked past, so to say, in the last video, uh, and it's the restaurant that I like spend the most time in my career as a cook, and it's probably like one of the most kind of really awesome experience I had. Um, and it's a shame that I will never ever experience that again. Never ever, never get, get experience that again, because it was something. It was just very special to that location and the people and everything the whole circumstance of it um, so I worked there for like two and a half year-ish something like that two and a half years uh, and it was brutal work <laughs> being a cook and if you are a cook and when you're out there you know that it's it's brutal it's really brutal uh, on the body many hours long hours heavy lifting and uh, yeah <clears throat> now the place I worked at, uh, as you might see in the video, is very gorgeous, very beautiful. Uh, surrounded by nature, and you have a creek that runs underneath the restaurant, uh, and we have like a like a like a plexiglass kind of thing, whatever, that you can look down and see the water rushing through the restaurant. Very very cool, very very dope. Uh, and it was just overall awesome. The people were awesome, the customers were awesome, uh, the, the people I worked with was awesome. We were like a small family, like me and uh, the rest of the other cooks and the waitresses. We were like a small family. We always looked after, after each other, make sure everyone was doing all right, doing, doing okay, things like that. Um, and it's also one of the things, looking back, it's the point of, how I say it? Uh, point of convergence, so to say, in my path, like life path, so to say. Because um, if I wasn't, unfortunately, fired, well, not fired in the sense like, oh, you suck, it's more like back in the fucking 2010, 11 or whatever, uh, in Sweden at least, we had like a big inflation and it hurt the company a lot, more the restaurant a lot, and I was the latest person to be hired. So I had to be the first person to be let go. Yeah, that's where let go, not fire, let go. Uh, so that sucked, and it was very difficult afterwards. I was in I, no matter like which other restaurant I went to afterwards, it was not the same. And I eventually lost my passion as a cook. I never got it back because uh, you have to have passion. You have to have passion for the for the career that you're doing. If you don't have the passion for it, you need to get the fuck out of there. You need to get out of there. Otherwise, you're just ruining your own body. And a lot of cooks I knew, a lot of cooks I knew, that continued even though they did not have fun. They basically became alcoholic, drinking on a job and drinking obviously afterwards as well, uh, just to, to just to like survive and like continue on working, because they just did not like the career. And you know, eventually I just you know realized that as well, and it's like you know, I'm out. This is not for me. Uh, but yeah, but the thing is that the, if I did not, if I were not let to be let go from from that restaurant, I would have been like the head, like the person responsible for, uh, well, bakery baking, because uh, I had a, a, a little shed uh, quite close by at the restaurant, and. Uh, it was only for storage, but they wanted to converge it into a small bakery and they wanted me to be in charge of it. And that was a very special occasion I really look forward to. But it was also not, like, there's also another thing, like in general, like if, you know, if that happened and I continue living and working at that place, then I would, I would not be here at all. I would not really do this YouTube. I would not definitely not do Twitch at all. Definitely not. Because uh, I would not have time and I would not, you know, find some amazing amazing people throughout throughout my my life 
sorry, uh, especially like, you know, from Wifeware, things like that, uh, my own Twitch community, like, it would not have happened. I would not have you know, met you guys at all if I were not to be let go. <laughs> and that's a sad thing. Like, that's kind of just sad. Like, in, you know, I enjoyed being what I was back then. But at the same time, you know, I would not be here where I'm at right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy that, you know, even though it's sad in a sense, it's still good <laughs> that it happened the way it did because of where we are right now. So I'm proud, at least, of who I am and my achievements and, you know, things like that. Uh, and used to, like, a lot of times, what I, I, I kind of weird thing, but one thing I kind of miss was that uh, back then, uh, do, 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 I'm not sure if I had a driver's license. I don't remember. I don't think I had. No, I didn't, no, no, I don't know. I didn't have a driver's license back then. I don't believe it was. I think it was after I got the let go that I took my driver's license. Yeah. And uh, okay. <laughs> but um, since I couldn't, you know, I didn't have a car. I didn't drive. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Uh. So I had a bicycle there, and the restaurant is quite, quite a bit of a distance to where uh, I live, like with my parents. Um, I think it took like maybe like 25 or 30 minutes. I think maybe even more. Uh, I think it must, must be yeah, must must be even more yeah, because uh, I had to. <laughs> I had to bicycle through like a bunch of farms. Like it was like this weird like path, uh, like handmade fucking path between the farms. And it was like, it's like very crooked. It was like, not straight line, it was like ring, 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 ring. And the fucking, the entire time there was like a bunch of these like holes and shit. So uh, you have to be like very careful. So then you not fucking dip down and then fly over. Uh, I had to do that a lot, but I, I only did that during the summertime. I couldn't do that during the winter. So only summer I did that, and it was something relaxing during summer, because uh, during summertime I would work 12 hours a day, uh, and uh, you know you would be so broken, so tired, so exhausted, so broken, because of the, the hours and intensity of the work. Uh, that going home was like the best thing. Like being able to go home, <laughs> it's like and you cycle home, and you're feeling like the cold kind of you know the, the breeze, the summer breeze hitting you, and you're like, oh fucking god, this is like what I need. It's like you're so sweaty, you smell of meat, <laughs> and, and cooking oil, and and, uh, and during summer we would grill, uh, so you will just be like fucking smoke. It's like you will just be so smoky. Uh, so that's just interesting time, and I kind of I, for whatever reason missed that. But yeah. It was, it was fun, it was fun. Well, I don't have much else to really, well, talk about or say. Uh, so that should be it for now. Uh, maybe there'll be more stories, who knows. Uh, but I, there was one of the things I want to bring back up, because I didn't talk about it last, last time. I want to, I want to. Yeah. it's what it is. But either way. Hope you all are doing fantastic, hope you're doing wonderful, alright? Take care everyone, bye-bye, bye-bye!